Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to test just the electronic part of the convertible top system in all Cabriolet 911 models that were made between 1988 all the way through 1998. The control units look like this. They are installed in the early models. They're going to be on the passenger side kick panel and on the 964s and 993s they're going to be under the steering column. This test is only meant to show you how to operate the system properly and also how to check the micro switches because the mechanical part is a completely different subject that should be actually looked by a professional Porsche mechanic. The right way to operate the convertible top system in your Porsche it's going to depend on the year that it was made. That's because on the early 911 models you have to put the key in position number one. You'll know that you're there because the radio is going to light up like it's about to work. In these model cars, you always have to have the e-brake engaged. Now, in later Porsche models like the 964 and the 993, you have to have the key in position number two. You'll know that you're there because you can hear the gong relay going off. Now, you can never have the car running because these convertible top units don't work when the car is running. Also, when you operate the convertible top system, the light on the clock lights up when you're closing or opening the convertible top and that light comes off once it's completely opened and also once it's completely closed. If at any point while you're driving your car that light comes on that means that there's likely going to be a problem in one of the micro switches in your car. So let's talk about the micro switches. In this part of the video, the micro switches that we're going to be testing are going to be the ones on the frame of the convertible top system. Now, you should know that there's two sets of micro switches here. They're the ones that tell that the convertible top already reached the windshield frame of the car and then the internal ones of these latching motors. The test that we're going to do is to hold these micro switches and then press the switch here on the dash of the car to close the top. What that's going to do, it's going to confuse the convertible top unit into thinking that it's already closed. And therefore, what we want to see are these two micro switches completely closing. That way that we know that they are understanding what's happening here and they also reach completely closed position. So Leah and I are going to hold these switches and then I'm going to close the convertible top and let's see if the latching motors work. There we go. So they're completely closed. That part's good. Now, in order to go backwards, I don't have to hold anything more except the switch on the dash of the car. And when I hold that to open the convertible top, these latching motors are going to disengage. The internal micro switches are also going to disengage. And then that's how you know that, that's how the convertible top knows that it can roll the convertible top backwards. So let's see if that works. Excellent. So in this car, at least the micro switches here on the frame of the convertible top are working perfectly. In this part of the video what we're showing is how these two micro switches protect, one of them protects the convertible top from closing too further forward and the other one tells the convertible top unit that the uh, cabriolet top is all the way back and it's completely open. And if you click them, you can hear them that they are getting activated. This is an emergency one. It should never be touched by this lever, but it should be at the same time adjusted in case that when the convertible top is getting closed, that it's almost ready to click it, but doesn't do it so that it protects the cables and all the system from getting, you know, overstressed and damaged. This one will always be clicked when the convertible top is all the way back. In order to test it, what we're, I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna close, pretend that I'm closing the convertible top and at the same time clicking the switch so you can see how it stops the uh, functioning uh, of the convertible top. So you should do these tests yourself in order to know if the convertible top micro switches are working. Now let's go backwards and test the other one that tells the convertible top unit that is completely open. Perfect. So this one is a little bit different. If I try to roll the convertible top back again with a switch here with my uh, other hand on the dash, it's not going to work anymore. I actually have to go forwards a little bit 
and then it can go back. That's how you know that these two micro switches are working properly and also the convertible top unit is getting the signals from them. Just so you can see, I'm going to show you how the convertible top uh, lever clicks up bottom micro switch when it's completely opened and therefore you can make your adjustments for it to work properly. So that clicks and it's completely uh, open. Now we're gonna go the other way around. So the convertible top completely closed, but it never clicked that micro switch. Like I mentioned, it should never be clicked. You should hear it now. See, it's almost, it almost should wanna click it, but it should never do it. That's how you protect the convertible top cables and mechanisms from getting uh, overstressed.